Chapter 10 of Angel Food Little Talks to Little Folks by Rev. Gerald T. Brennan. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. The Boy with the Nails. Here's a story that I always like to tell. Boys and girls always like to hear it. Peter Fleming was the boy in the story, and Peter's father was very rich. Peter could have anything he wanted. He had a great big yard, a pony, a bike, a toboggan slide in winter. Why, Peter even had a nice little pond in his own yard. Yes, Peter could go swimming right in his own yard. Of course, Peter had lots of friends. All the boys and girls used to like to play with Peter. He had so many nice things. But Peter had one bad habit. Peter was selfish. He wanted to boss everybody, and when Peter couldn't boss, he had an awful habit of swearing. In fact, Peter became so bad that after a while none of the boys and girls would play with him because they didn't like to hear him swear. So day after day, Peter had to play alone. Finally, Peter went to his mother. He knew that she could help him. He told his mother how the other boys and girls would not play with him any more and he wondered why it was. Of course, Peter's mother knew the reason, and she told him. Peter, she said, the reason why the other boys and girls won't play with you any more is that you swear too much. They don't like to hear you swear. Peter told his mother that he didn't know that he was swearing so much. He was sorry, awfully sorry. He told his mother that he'd do anything that would help him to stop swearing. Peter's mother thought for a long time. I have it, she said. I have a plan. If you do just what I tell you to do, I know that you will stop swearing. And after you have stopped swearing, all the other boys and girls will come back and play with you. Peter promised to do just what his mother would tell him to do. And here is what happened. Out in Peter's yard there was a chicken coop. Peter's mother told him to take a bucket of black paint and to go out and draw a black circle on the side of the chicken coop. Peter went out and drew a black circle on the side of the chicken coop. Then his mother gave him a hammer and a box of nails. Now, Peter, she said, start in today, and every time you swear, knock a nail into that circle. Peter started. Well, the first day, all that Peter's mother heard was knock, knock, knock. Peter was swearing an awful lot, and every time he swore, he drove a nail into the circle. After four days, Peter came into the house and said, Ma, I haven't got any more nails. Peter's mother gave him another box of nails and told him to keep at it. Sure enough, in a few days, Peter's mother didn't hear so many knocks. Peter was getting a little better. Every day there were fewer knocks. And finally, one day came and there were no knocks. The next day, there were no knocks. And the next day, and the next... It went on for weeks, and Peter didn't have to drive any nails. He wasn't swearing any more. He had stopped the bad habit. Pretty soon, all the gang started to come back and play in Peter's yard. Peter was very happy, and so was his mother. They both thought the nail idea was swell. But Peter's mother had a new idea. Peter, she said, you're not swearing any more. Now I want you to do this. Starting tomorrow, every day that you don't swear, I want you to go out and pull out one of the nails from the circle. Peter wasn't swearing anymore, so every night, just before he went to bed, he went out and pulled out one of the nails from the circle. At last, after weeks and weeks, Peter walked into the house with his hammer and two boxes of nails. The nails were all out of the circle. Peter was so happy. Gee, Ma! Peter said, that certainly was a swell idea. I did just what you told me to do, and I stopped swearing. It was a great idea, but there is only one thing that I didn't like. It's this. If you go out and look at the circle, you can still see the places where the nails were. Boys and girls, every time we sin, God puts a black mark on our souls. Sins are just like the nails going into the circle. Sins stay on our souls, just like the nails stay in the circle. 
What did Peter do when he had a bad habit? He went to his mother. He knew his mother could help him. When we have sins on our souls, we go to the priest in confession. We know that the priest can help us. Peter told his mother that something was wrong. In confession we tell the priest all the things that we did that were wrong, our sins. Peter was sorry. We've got to be sorry. Peter did just what his mother told him to do. We've got to do just what the priest tells us to do. When God takes our sins off our souls, it's just like Peter pulling the nails out of the circle. When the nails came out of the circle, Peter could still see the holes where the nails used to be. When God takes our sins off our souls, when the sins are all gone, there are still places on our souls that have to be filled. We fill in those places when we say the prayers that the priest tells us to say, in other words, when we say our penance. Children, go to confession often. That's the easy way to get rid of your sins. You can't pray your sins off your soul. You must go to confession. Don't you always feel swell after confession? I always do. Why, then, should you keep old sins on your soul when it is so easy to get rid of them? Yes, it's so easy. Jesus made it easy. It's so easy to go to confession. End of chapter 10